Which country would be the best that offers the best medical training, salaries and lifestyle? Now let's churn some numbers. United Kingdom, the land of royal colleges, the museums and this island has more history and to match that history, there are ancient salaries too. United States is still the land of opportunity. In Australia, salaries are also standardized but can vary slightly by state. Two of the most important issues for any international medical graduate to leave their beloved country, the quest for a better medical training and salaries to be able to provide for their families. In my experience, the training can only be enjoyed. Yes, enjoyed. If it's well paying, it's able to afford exams, courses and good downtime in form of quality holidays and simple luxuries. There's nothing at all wrong with that. Now, in this video, I will be comparing salaries of medical interns and residents and specialists in the United Kingdom, United States and Australia. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I'll keep that all in US dollars for the uniformity. Additionally, I will also factor in the local cost of living in each of the major capital cities to draw a conclusion about which country offers the best financial prospects for medical trainees and specialists. And yes, to keep it simple, I'm only considering here the salaries that are average and the hospital paid. I'm not going to factor in any additional locum work or private income of specialists. Plus there are all single person income and expenses. So without further ado, Let's jump right into it. For the ease, I will divide this video into salary of interns and resident, local cost of living in capital cities, salaries of specialists and physicians and surgeons. Finally, I will conclude by analyzing which countries offer the best salary and living conditions and training. Salaries for interns and resident. United Kingdom, the land of royal colleges, the museums and this island has more history and to match that history, there are ancient salaries too. In the UK, the National Health Service is primarily the employer for all medical trainees and the salaries are somewhat standardized across the England, Scotland and Wales and perhaps even Northern Ireland. Interns, that is the foundation year one are about $37,800 to $43,800 per year. Residents, that is foundation year two plus, are $43,800 to $51,400 per year. A specialty training, ST1 to ST8, $51,800, $75,200 per year. That is the variation. United States, just still the land of opportunity. In the US, because the health system seems to be an interplay between private health system and the insurers and the salaries can vary significantly depending on the hospital and its location. But generally, the ranges are as follows. Interns, that is PG year Y1, $55,000 to $70,000 per year. Residents, PG Y year 2 to PG year Y5, $60,000 to $80,000 per annum with increments each year and fellowship training years that is post residency 70,000 US dollars to about 100,000 US dollars per year not bad australia the land of sun surf and mining in australia salaries are also standardized but can vary slightly by state which sometimes act as individual countries interns that is pgy1 46,900 dollars to 57,050 dollars per year residents that is pgy year 2 to pgy year 5 $50,250 to $67,000 per year. Registrar who are in specialist training, the salaries can range from $57,000 all the way up to $80,600 per annum. To determine which country offers the best financial prospect, we must consider the local cost of living. I'll look at the major cities in each country for comparative analysis. This includes most average doctors things like rent, utilities, groceries, um, transportation and additional costs and yes some miscellaneous costs of courses and exams as well. And yes of course there will be a huge variation based on your personal spending habits. United Kingdom, London. Total monthly expenses could be in the range of about $3,000 to about $3,910, nearly about $4,000 US dollars. United States in New York City, total monthly expenses could range from three and a half thousand dollars to up to over four and a half thousand dollars australia sydney total monthly expenses could be two thousand two hundred us dollars 
to about 3000 US dollar which is most economical of the three so far to make it fair comparison I'll analyze that the disposable income that is salary minus the expenses for the first four years of the junior doctor as these are the prime years where majority of the migrant doctors would leave their country and come settle in the US UK and Australia United Kingdom annual salary for interns and FI2s and early ST years are ranging between $37,800 to $43,800. Annual expenses, however, very closely drawn between $36,480 to $46,920. So the disposable income is not much, $1,320 to about $3,120. And hence, all UK doctors were screaming out loud and had the class section that led to about 11 to 12 percent pay rise in England and Scotland. United States, the annual salary for junior doctors could be ranging between $55,000 to up to $70,000. Now, annual expenses, by comparison, could range between $40,440 up to $56,640. Disposable income, $14,560 to up to $30,000. Australia, the annual salary for interns could be in the range of about $46,900 to about $57,050. Annual expenses could range between $23,500 to $32,000. So leaving the disposable income to a handsome sum of $24,560 to $33,530. Not bad for a single person as an earner. Conclusion. Considering the salaries and cost of living, Australia appears to offer the best financial prospect for medical interns and residents. Despite having slightly lower salary ranges compared to that of the US, the significantly lower or relatively, I must say, lower cost of living allows for a higher disposable income. The UK, on the other hand, appears to have least favorable income in terms of disposable income for medical trainees even if you adjust or factor in the 12% pay rise which has happened in this current financial year. Now salaries of medical specialists and surgeons. Now the salaries of specialist physicians and surgeons can vary significantly based on the country, the type of specialty and other factors. But let's compare the medical specialists and surgeons in Australia and United Kingdom and United States. Australia. In Australia, the salaries of medical specialists and surgeons are generally high, reflecting the advanced level of training and responsibilities. Medical specialists could range in between $134,000 to $268,000 per annum. Surgeons could range between $167,000 to $334,000 per annum. In the United Kingdom, the salaries of medical specialists and surgeons are standardized within the NHS with additional private practice opportunities potentially increasing the earnings. Medical specialists in the United Kingdom can earn between $104,000 to up to $140,000 per annum, and the surgeons in a similar ballpark figure of $107,000 to $144,000 per annum. United States offers the highest potential of earning for both medical and surgical specialties because of largely private health system. These salaries can go upward of $1 million. The wide range reflects the variability across different states between private and public health care sectors. Now, the medical specialists normally earn between $230,000 to up to $400,000 per annum, and the surgeons draw close to about $250,000 to about $500,000 per annum, a very conservative estimate, I would say. So, which is the best healthcare system from earning point of view? Well, through the training years to specialist work, I think it's going to be a close tie. From the point of view of earning though, through the training years, Australia offers up the best blend of better salaries and work-life balance, generating a healthy disposable income, so more savings, which is a good thing as always. But in the long run, doctors who would want to prioritize higher earnings and incomes, the US stands out on the top positions. However, I might have oversimplified the concept of earning potential for doctors in these three major or key destination for migrant doctors. Realistically, you will find doctors earning well over a million dollar here in Australia too, and in the UK as well. And you may also find doctors of much lower salaries in the US. I believe one decision to choose the final destination must never be purely or entirely influenced by money. I would agree money is also a very important factor, but surely 
there are much more important issues like physical and mental health and well-being to keep you functioning at top of your game. Look after yourself and each other. Goodbye.